Here's our finished results of our peanut butter cookies. I want to show you how beautiful they turn out, how they look, and here's the three that's left on the pan right here. The three little beautiful peanut butter cookies. Ooh, look at them, y'all. Look at them. And we got a bowl full. Who wouldn't want to have some peanut butter cookies with a glass of milk right now? I love peanut butter cookies. There's a lot of people are allergic to peanuts, and I am so sorry that I made these delicious peanut butter cookies. I'm sorry. Maybe I should make some just sugar cookies or something next time. But these are so delicious, y'all. They are beautiful. Look at them. They are perfect little peanut butter cookies, y'all. Very good. After this presentation, y'all, I have the recipe for these delicious peanut butter homemade cookies. I have got some peanut butter cookies in a package. They didn't taste like peanut butter. Oh, they taste like something else. But these are homemade, as you can see, delicious peanut butter cookies. I made these big, so I won't go back in the jar so often to get these peanut butter cookies. This is Sandra. I want to show you these delicious peanut butter cookies and like I said after this presentation that is the recipe on how to do these delicious peanut butter cookies. This is Sandra. Hi this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe and this recipe is my peanut butter cookies. Yes indeed we don't have nothing to eat sweet today and I decided to make us some peanut butter cookies for the weekend and what I'm doing right now is putting two sticks of butter inside this bowl so we can have some good old peanut butter cookies. I'm telling you y'all I hope everybody's doing fine. So right now I'm going to get ready to blend this butter up and we're going to blend this butter just like this until it's all blended. Then we're going to add one cup of sugar and one cup of brown sugar a little at a time just like this. I love peanut butter cookies. I remember when I was growing up the first thing I did was make peanut butter cookies. My uh, cousin, Marie, didn't believe I made them. She said, oh, you didn't make those? I said, yes, I did. Okay, now, and that started me from cooking. When that's, you know, when something like that happens, when you're growing up, you don't mind learning how to cook. I always was in the kitchen with my grandmother, my mother. We would always cook Christmas and Thanksgiving dinner when we was growing up. We did a lot of that stuff. Okay, what we're doing now is blending all this together. The brown sugar and the regular sugar. Okay, now what we're gonna do now? I'm a little microphone out the way. We're gonna add one egg, two eggs, one at a time. Get it all blended up like that. I love peanut butter cookies. Ooh, I love them. I love peanut butter. Now they have a peanut butter cake. I'm not too fond about the peanut butter cake, but they do have that. Okay, we blend all this together like this. Make sure everything is blended. Just like this. All the egg and the sugar and the butter. You know those are going to be some good, rich cookies, don't you? Okay, we're going to blend them together like that. Okay, what we're going to do now is get the peanut butter. Let me get this out the way. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to get the peanut butter. Now that's one cup of peanut butter. I kind of melt this in the microwave a little bit. So it can uh, come out good. This is exactly one cup of peanut butter, y'all. Eight ounces. Okay, we're going to put that in there like that. I love the way peanut butter smell. That roasted peanuts. Ooh, it smell good. Okay. I hope I'm making y'all favorite peanut butter cookies. I hope I make y'all favorite cookie peanut butter. Okay, we're going to blend that together. 
There you go, like that, you yeah. all that's gonna bleed together. Like that. Then we're gonna add some peanuts. Just like that. About, I don't know how many peanuts, as much as you want in there, but I just put a little peanuts in there. Then we're gonna add a half a cup of a cup of flour. Or it calls for two cups, two cups and a half of flour. Just put one at a time in there. That's one cup. No milk goes into this, y'all. Okay, here's the other cup. Two cups of flour. There. Y'all, we got the way. One day I have a big space to work with. Okay, we're gonna get all this together and we'll be right back. First of all, I'm gonna put some of the vanilla in it so we won't forget the vanilla. That's two tablespoons, two teaspoons of vanilla. And we're gonna be right back and show you how it looks, okay? Be right back. All right, what we did, we got it all mixed up just like that. And then I used the wrappers from the butter to grease the cooking sheet just like that. With the cooking sheet, and then what we're gonna do is add some batter to the cooking sheet, just like this. Depends on how much you want in there. Fingers, I use fingers, y'all. I'm sure y'all don't, but I do. And I like to roll mine. Let's tell the truth, you can roll them like this, make a, a good camera went off. So I'm going to show you again how to roll your cookies. We're going to make them big this time. Roll your cookies just like this. Roll them up. Lay them in a pan just like that. We're just going to make some big ones and show you how to prepare them. Roll them up just like this because we already made a batch. So we're going to make another batch, make some big ones. You roll them real nice like that. And I think we might could get three. I'm not sure, but we might get three of these. Uh, we might could just get, you know, that's pretty plenty. We we'll just dig in here and get them out of here. And I'm gonna show you how to. That way, I might we get three. We might can get three out of it. Okay, roll them like this. Cause the camera went off, and I didn't get a chance to show you how to roll them. And we're gonna roll them like this, and we're gonna mash them down with the fork, mash them down like that, lift it up, mash it down, lift it up, and go back, let's just take that off, and go back like that, lift it up, go back, lift it up, and then go crossway again, lift it up. That's what I want to show you. So this is Sandra, I want to tell you happy eating and thank you for coming to my channel. And I love all my subscribers and give me an opportunity to get to your uh, video because it takes two or three days now to get to everybody. If I don't get to your video, you say, oh, she's not going to my video no more. That is not true because I'm trying to get to all and everybody video. This is Sandra. This is what I want to show you how this look. I'll really show you the presentation on how to cook this look. So this is Sandra. Bye-bye.